Chi and I'm with Interop TV. I'd like to introduce John Mattis from NetOptics. And we're going to talk about the role of NetOptics and InteropNet and how TAPS work to give us a view and troubleshoot the InteropNet. Thank you very much, Brian. Uh, my name is John Mattis and I'm a field application engineer with NetOptics. And this is our third year in, in Interop working with the NOC team to help deliver the network. Um, this year, what I'd like to focus on is what we're doing in the NOC differently than other years. Sure. So, uh, the design philosophy in the network was that we were going to build a network where we had a large portion of equipment in co-locations okay. to simulate a cloud environment. Um, sure. Because you hear a lot of buzz out there talking about the cloud. So what we did is that we distributed many of our NetOptics products in the different co-location facilities. So I physically went out to Denver, I went out to Sunnyvale, and we're also going to be going over to New Jersey to physically install our stuff in those locations. And those are not only for management, but also for redundancy for the network. And then inside the network, um, we have products that uh, monitor every little facet of the network. So the main product that we use for NetOptics is our director product. Right, and that's this right here, right? That is correct. Okay. And what is unique about uh, the director product is that it is a dense one U high appliance that allows you to take different different data sure. from different points of the network and send those to many of the different tools that we're going to be using here on the show floor. Uh, we have um, net, network analyzers from NetScout. We have tools from Fluke. Uh, we also have IDS tools from Interis's that we're going to be using. And all those different tools need access to the data. So with the director, we can tap all the different points from the co-locations all the way to the show floor and off show floor. And in one easy to use interface, I could send data to any device with, throughout the network. So it's a very powerful tool. Sure. And I just noticed we've got a couple of 10 gig ports here. What does the 10 gig allow us to do? Is it a way to link multiple um, directors together? Yeah, so there's 10 gig ports on the front and the back. The ones on the back are used for daisy chaining the different director units. So when we daisy chain the directors, we can look at them as one management console. So I could send data from this box here, and I could send it all the way into our physical mock. This actual director is in the offshore floor, far away from my mock. Yet seamlessly within our interface, I could say, I want this data and I want it to go over to the NOC, to this device, and that person can have his data and be happy. So we've gone a long way from the days of static taps. Yes, uh, and this is the future of the industry. We've gone from you know, having single, single taps in many different links to having dense one new high appliances that can tap multiple locations within your network and deliver the data that the customer needs. Sure, I know it's a little off topic, but you know, one of the things that people have asked about taps is, why are there different flavors? We've heard of 50-50 taps, 60-40 taps, 90-10 taps. Tell us a little bit about the different flavors of the taps. Yeah, so with fiber optic taps, you have different uh, split ratios, what you, what you were mentioning, like the 50-50 taps, the 60-40. And what that is, is that is the amount of light that is kept into the network link and the amount of light that is split off to the monitoring tools. So for example, in a 50-50 tap, a, half the light is gonna stay in the network link and half the light is gonna go into the tool. So for instance, if we got a, a link that's got a very tight light budget, you might wanna stay with the 90-10? Um, you could go all the way up to 90-10, so it all depends on, there's many different factors that affect the choice how many interconnections there are between the two devices, uh, what, are the type, what is the quality of the optics that you're using, and the light budget they, they deliver, and the distance. So depending on those factors, um, usually when it's tighter, you start with 70-30, and then you work the map and maybe go over to the 80-20 and 90-10 tabs. Fair enough. 